Welcome to our introduction to studying A-level chemistry at Keviggs. We're going to give you a brief overview of our course, a tour of our labs and some feedback from our current Year 12 students. First of all, I will introduce the A-level teachers. So my name is Mrs Buckley. I've been at the school now for nine years and I share the head of department role here with Mrs Bateson, um, who is also the school's e-learning coordinator. Mr Aiken not only teaches chemistry, but is also the head of sixth form at King Edwards, so he will become a familiar face to many of you should you choose to come to our school. So in terms of getting onto the chemistry A-level course here, we would require a grade six um, in GCSE chemistry and also in GCSE maths. What to expect in year 12? So normally in year 12, you'd have two teachers um, and two topics running at the same time. Uh, what's really nice about the OCR Salters B syllabus that we follow is that it adopts a context-led approach. So new concepts are introduced in a relevant context. So for example, one of the first units at AS level is elements of life. Uh, you will learn about spectroscopy, which is the interaction of light and matter. Um, when we put this into context using ideas about the sun and the stars and how scientists use the light from sun and stars to analyse the elements that they're made up of. So these are the units that are covered in year 13. Um, so this is run in a very similar format to year 12 where we have two teachers and two parallel units. Uh, the polymers and life topic overlaps with biology A level in which we cover ideas such as DNA, amino acids, protein structure, etc. A lot of our A-level chemists are also studying A-level biology. What's really nice is also the, the drip feed approach to the course. So chemical ideas are introduced in an early unit and reinforced later on. For example, elements from the C introduces chemical equilibria, which is met again at A2 in the chemical industry unit. So this slide just shows you the structure of exams. All the exams will be sat at the end of year 13. So the written papers have varying weighting towards the overall A-level grade. All the papers are synoptic, which means they assess content from across the two years. We really emphasize the importance of reviewing notes as you go along, practicing lots of past paper questions, which will just make it easier for you when you come to revise at the end of year 13. So really with A-level chemistry, organisation and independent learning are two really key factors. The practical skills paper, which you can see there worth 22% of the total A-level, um, is assessing practical skills covered throughout the course. So the practical component of the course is known as the practical endorsement. This is non-exam assessed so it does not count towards your final A-level grade. There are certain skills, however, which are teacher assessed. So we're looking for our A-level students to demonstrate competence in a range of different skills. For example, making and recording observations, accurately using a range of apparatus, researching and referencing correctly, just to name but a few. So the students will carry out a minimum of 12 assessed practicals across the two years. Hello there, it's Mrs Bateson here, one of the other chemistry teachers here at King Edward. I'm here to give you a little tour around our science labs. Okay, so this is Q16, one of our two specialist labs. As you can see, there's a one fume cupboard on the left and there's going to be a second fume cupboard on the right. This is a year 13 class. They are doing a chromatography experiment. This is one of the required practicals, the PAGs, that Mrs Buckley mentioned earlier. And this is Q17. Once again, you can see a fume cupboard for uh, the more dangerous practicals. This is a year 12 class being taught by Mr. Aiken with Mrs. Buckley standing there next to him. OK, and here we have our chemistry prep room. As you can see, they're loaded with documents, bits of information, textbooks, spare textbooks. And this is where the magic happens. This is where all the practicals that you'll be uh, having to go at. They are prepared by our lovely technician, Miss Vinter. This right here is the chemical store. Uh, this is only accessible to staff members and is kept locked and secured when no staff members are present. To end our introduction to chemistry here at Keviggs, we've got for you some of the thoughts of our current Year 12 students.